Yo guys, it's Lara. You already know that today I'm bringing you guys my team analysis for week 8 of the TBU. This week we're taking on Enzo and the Schwiskers. Now this is the last week of the regular season of the TBU. We have a very, very small chance to make it to the playoffs. Uh, we would need a really big win and somebody above us would have to have a pretty big loss. So, um, it's not looking likely for us, but um, I still put together the best team that I could because I don't believe in not giving an effort. And this is, I believe, uh, Enzo's last game in the TBU, so I want to make it a good one for him. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, this week, um, I did make a bench transfer, as you can clearly see in front of you. Um, I brought Stoutland, because I wasn't going to have Stoutland and not use it. Even if it didn't have a, a good team matchup, I probably would have brought Stoutland, because I just want to try it. Um, but it actually does have a pretty good team matchup this week, so, yeah, I'm bringing it. Um, and I benched Whimsicott for that. Now, the team that Enzo could bring um, consists of Bisharp, Starmie, Superior, Nido Queen, Dublade, Miss Magius, Talonflame, Diggersby, Gorgeist, and Mega Audino. Um, now, uh, Enzo, being it that it's his last week in the TBU, uh, was allowed to make an exception and he made two bench trades. This was approved by me. Um, they just made sure that I was okay with it and I have no issues with it. And he um, brought to the team uh, Superior and Dublade off the bench. Uh, meaning that those two mons have a very, very high chance of showing up to the battle. So, <clears throat> that's definitely something to keep in mind. That's two mons that are probably not that much of a mystery, and there's a couple others that I could definitely see him bringing also. Um, so, yeah. And also, those two bench uh, trades also involved him benching a Mammoth Swine, so I don't have to go against that now. So, um, I was perfectly fine with that. Um, yeah. Right now, uh, I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I'm not feeling super well, so... Uh, but I do want to get this video got, uh, out to you guys, so I'm just going to run through the team uh, and my thought process and all that good stuff. Um, so, first Mon is, of course, Stoutland. Um, I did not nickname any of these Pokemon, what? Alright, well this is Dexter. Dexter is the Stoutland here, and he's Choice Bandit with Sandrush, with Return, Crunch, Superpower, and Pursuit. Um, max Attack, Adamant, and Max Speed, 4 HP. I don't usually run 252, 252 sets, uh, but... Um, I actually basically need max speed if I were to try and outspeed, I want to say like a choice Scarf Scarmy, Starmie or something. I think a Scarf Starmie would actually outspeed me. Um, or I'm trying to think, Talonflame would outspeed me or something like that. No, it has to be like a Scarf Talonflame or something, which isn't going to happen. Um, but I do think that Stoutland is slower. I'm going to have to double check the speed count, but I do think that a Scarf Starmie may be faster. Uh, and a Scarf Superior may be faster, and if not, then this is faster than a Scarf Starmie. I will double check that before the battle, um, but it is the fastest I can make it. Um, I think one of those when Scarfed hits like, you know, 263, uh, you know, it hits like right where um, Stalin would be, because Stalin in the sand is going to hit 264 um, with the speed, so uh, it, I basically needed all of it just to make sure that I outspeed. I am going to double check that calc. It's been a few days since I made this team. Um, I am going to double check that speed calc before I get into the battle, that way I don't end up getting surprised off sped by something. Um, but yeah, clearly, so I'm bringing the sand. Um, basically this has move coverage to hit basically everything, uh, with a choice band superpower, hits Bisharp. Um, Starmie can get hit by Crunch, uh, Return also does a lot, Return does a lot to Superior and Nidoqueen. Uh, Dewblade takes a decent amount from Crunch, uh, Dewblade's probably the best thing to do with this, Miss, Miss May just is, easily dies to a Crunch. Townflame doesn't want to take like a return or anything, although I don't really want to take a Brave Bird either. Um, Diggers B, I don't think can take a return. It can't take a superpower. I know that. So it dies to that. Crunch does a lot to Gorgeist, and return does a lot to Mega Audino. So, um, seeing as Stalin is probably going to be more of a late game um, type of sweeper, um, most of those things would have lower damage, and Stalin can hopefully just sweep up and just kill everything. So, that's going to be fun. Um, I also have Pursuit, just in case it's earlier in the match. You know, the sand's up, I come in, and he has in, I don't know, like, let's just say he has in, like, a Starmie or something. And he still has something around that he would rather sack off, and, you know, I predict him to switch out. I can go for a Pursuit, and I can just take him out. Uh, basically, I don't need a fourth coverage move, so I just decided to throw in Pursuit shenanigans um, to see if they could pay off. So... Uh, there's that. Then we have Hippowdon, um, Hip Hall, the Hippowdon, of course, with the Smooth Rock, Sandstream, um, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Slap Off, Crunch, Max HP, Max Defense, Impish, 
Uh, with the remaining four in attack, this is my switch in to Bisharp and Talonflame and kind of Diggersby. I actually, I think Abandoned Diggersby still does too much. Um, but I, this is definitely my switch into Talonflame and Bisharp. Um, I think, I think it can kind of deal with Talonflame. Um, but maybe not. Rocks are good to get up. <clears throat> Earthquake is good to hit, said Bisharp. Um, it can also do a decent amount to Dewblade and Nidoqueen, Queen, and that's about it. Crunch uh, hits a lot of. Uh, Enzo has like a bunch of dark weaknesses, like he has three Ghost types with Dewblade, Miss Magius, and Gorgeist, uh, as well as then he has a Psychic type in Starmie. Um, so dark and Ghost moves are pretty good against him, um, which I definitely plan to take full advantage of. Um, yeah, so this is decently standard-ish. Um, <clears throat> I don't have leftovers, so I'll probably be using Slack off a lot more than I would otherwise like to. Um, but we'll just see how well he soaks up hits. It really just depends on the type of sets that Enzo brings. Um, actually, while we're on the subject of sand, let's go ahead and just stay with the sand offense. Um, as I'm bringing double sand offense. Is that how you spell logon? I think it is. I don't remember. Um, <clears throat> but Exodrill is being brought with Life Orb and Sand Rush. Earthquake, Exodrill, Iron Head, and Rock Slide. Um, Max attack adamant, 236 speed, enough speed that I need to outspeed everything in the sand, and then just remaining HP kind of spread throughout to where it helps. Um, this basically is enough coverage to hit basically everything. Um, again, Earthquake hits just about everything that doesn't resist it. I have X Scissor, Force Superior, and Gorgeist. Um, Iron Head also does a lot to those mons, um, as well as the ghost types and things like that, or I, I should say Miss Magius. Um, and Rock Slide basically hits Talon Flame. That's basically it. So I have enough coverage to hit everything uh, with the Life Orb. Um, I will be doing a lot of damage. No need to try and get a Sword Stance up. Just go straight for, you know, punching holes. So I can use both Stoutland and Exodrill in the sand. I can I can try and do this multiple times in the game. Um, you know, just punch holes until the sand's ru sand runs out. Bring sand back up again later in the match and bring the other one around and just like clean up the rest of the team. You know things like that. That's kind of what the uh, what the idea is. Um, I guess we'll stick with offense. I'm really, really happy about this Embor set, so let's talk about this. Embor. Uh, I don't remember what your name is. Oh, your name's Choji. Your name is Choji. I remember that. Expert Belt. Blaze. Overheat. Second Punch. Scald. Superpower. Max Special Attack. Rash Nature. 220 in Attack and 36 in Speed. That's a fun set, right? I know. So, um, the speed is there to outspeed a Gorgeist Large. Now, I think Enzo is going to bring Gorgeist either super or Gorgeist large as physically defensive to stop Excadrill from sweeping his team. Um, and, yeah, so I think he's basically forced to bring Gorgeist uh, this week. I think he's going to. I don't know. Could be wrong. Um, and if he brings a smaller Gorgeist form than that, then it will be less bulky and I should have less issues trying to deal with it. I didn't really have anything else I wanted to outspeed. Um, just because things that are slower probably aren't going to have speed investment. Things like Dewblade and things like Mega Audino. And things that are slightly faster are probably going to have more speed investment. Things like Bisharp. Things like Nidoqueen. And stuff like that. So, that's all the speed I really need. Um, <clears throat> I decided to kind of have enough coverage to hit basically everything on this team. And just try and do a lot of damage with Expert Belt. Um, I don't need Reckless because I don't have any recoil moves. Um, but just going down his team, this is another one. Overheat hits Bisharp, so does Superpower. Um... Second Punch hits the Starmie, Overheat hits Superior, Scald hits Nidoqueen, Overheat hits Dewblade, um, Second Punch hits Miss Magius. Uh, I'm not going to stay in on a Talon Flame no matter what, so that doesn't matter. Um, Scald hits Diggersby, and Superpower hits Diggersby, Overheat hits Gorgeist and Sucker Punch, and then the best thing I have to hit Mega Aldino is probably the Overheat, which actually does less than half. Mega Aldino can kind of take this thing on decently well, but I really don't think he's going to bring Mega Aldino because of the amount of offense that I have on my team, Mega Aldino, like, it doesn't actually stop it. Like, it doesn't stop Exodrill. Um, it doesn't really stop Stalin. Um, Kieran Black can 2 it KO it, things like that. Um, and there are forms of Embor that can obviously 2 it KO it, so there's just a lot of things on my team that potentially could take out the, uh, Mega Aldino. The only things that I'm bringing this week that could probably do that is going to be, uh, both Stalin and Exodrill, so... Um, so that's a fun set, and I don't mind getting, like, the minus two drop, like, I, like, I really hope I can get an overheat off, and then he thinks he's safe to switch into something, and then it's like, bam, you know, I go overheat, and 
I don't know, that in something he either dies or he thinks that he's safe to switch into, like, one of his ghost types or something, and then, like, I sucker punch on that, and, you know, it's just a whole lot of shenanigans that we'll see how they work out. But I really like this mix set, and I hope it works out. Um, so, the, this mod, this is a Kieran Black, um, Azazel, um, <clears throat> specially defensive, Fusion Bolt, Earth Power, Dragon Claw Roost, max HP, max special defense, careful. So, with leftovers. This is my switch into Starmie and or Superior. I want to say Superior. And I don't even think Nato Queen can do that much to me. Yeah. Or Miss Magius. Yeah, this is this actually works as a really good switch into a lot of his stuff. <clears throat> and even with like no attack investment, um, things like Fusion Bolt and Dragon Claw are still going to hurt a lot. So <clears throat> you know, that's just coverage that I need. Earth Power hits the only dragon resist that he has, which is Bisharp, and hits it for a lot. Earth Power also does a lot to Nidoqueen and Dewblade, so uh, it's not too bad. Basically, I, I, on a lot of the mods on my team, I just have a lot to deal with a lot of his stuff. Um, Roost to keep myself around, and Leftovers, he's gonna have a really hard time taking this out. Um, also, uh, he does have Stealth Rockers, but he doesn't have, like, like, I don't know if he wants to bring Stealth Rocks with Nidoqueen Queen or Bisharp, because, you know, he does that, then it just loses a little bit of power and a move slot. Um, so he might not bring Rocks. You know, we'll see. So, that's gonna be fun. Um, <clears throat> then, Final Mon is going to be Electros. We got Eros. The Electros. Um, Assault Vest with Crunch, Drain Punch, Aqua Tail, and U-Turn. Max HP, 156 in Special Defense with a Careful Nature, and the remaining 100 in Attack. Um, so again, this is coverage to hit basically his whole team. This works as a switch in to, I want to say Starmie, I think this is my Starmie switch in, or this is my Miss Magia switch in. I think, um, Electros can switch in on Miss Magius. This is built to have enough special defense, I think, that if a Miss Magius goes for a Nasty Plot, and it's like, not a Life Orb set, so if it's a Nasty Plot, and it's like Focus Sash or something, um, then I should be able to live a hit, or I should be able to live two hits, actually. Um, I don't remember what I count, but I do think that um, I can like I can take Shadow Balls easily. Like I can switch it on Shadow Ball straight up. If it's like a Life Orb Shadow Ball, no problem. Then I have Crunch, you know. And again, if you just go through his, go through his team, um, Drain Punch hits Bisharp, Crunch for Starmie, uh, U Turn hits Superior. Not like a whole lot, but it still does close to half. Um, Aqua Tail hits Nidoqueen, Queen, Crunch, although not for a lot, hits Dewblade and Miss Magius does more to Miss Magius. Um, Talon Flame, eh, Aqua Tail, I guess, uh, if I stay in on it. And Diggersby, Aqua Tail, uh, Gorgeist, Crunch, U Turn, and Mega Audino kind of walls it a little bit. So, I mean, obviously, as I'm going through this team, the two biggest things that could be an issue are well, Talon Flame is easily going to be the biggest. Mega Audino could be an issue. Um, and there's just a lot of other things. He could really bring any six. I don't see any that are just obvious not brings. The closest I would say is Mega Audino, but he might find its, you know, clericness and wish and all that good stuff helpful. So if he decides to do that, then it'll come. Um, otherwise, I don't think it'll show up. But everything else, I could really, it, it just depends on what he wants to do. So that's my team for this week. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. I'll see you tomorrow for what is most likely going to be the final TBU battle for myself and the LA Galaxy this season. So, hope you're excited for that, and I will see you then. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next time, stay slack.